Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I will explain about implementation of Gauss Jordan elimination to determine the maximum profit of a sale. I am Nur Hayati Nurdin from Department of Mathematics, Hasanuddin University. Without further ado, let's start the video. We know that many things in life are related to mathematics, like science, social and economy, technology, and medic. Mathematics is hard to simplify all of tasks. There are many branches of mathematics. One of them is linear algebra. One of the main topics studied in algebra is the system of linear equation, a general system of MLM linear equation when n noun variables can burden us. Where a i is the coefficient, x i is the variable, and b i is the constant of equation. We can abbreviate the system by writing only the rectangular array of number like this. This is called the augmented matrix for the system. For example, the augmented matrix for the system of equation is one way to find the solution of the system of equation is by using the Gauss-Jordan elimination. This method is named Gauss-Jordan in honor of Carl Friedrich Gauss and Wilhelm Jordan. Gauss-Jordan elimination is the process of transforming a matrix into its reduced row echelon form. The method used is called elementary row operation. In general, there are three types of elementary row operation. One, multiplying a row by a non-zero scalar. For example, if the first row, all elements of the first row, is multiplied by a scalar of three. Two, interchanging two rows. For example, interchanging the first and second rows. Three, Adding a multiple of one row to another row, for example, adding the second row to four times the first row. Example, find the solution of the system of linear equation using Gauss-Jordan elimination. The augmented matrix of this is... Next steps is convert to reduce row as one form using elementary operations as follows. So, the solution of the system of linear equation using Gauss-Jordan elimination is x1 equals 7, x2 equals minus 1, and x3 equals 3. Congratulations! You have now understood the basic concept of Gauss-Jordan elimination. Did you know that Gauss-Jordan elimination is beneficial in the field of economics? One of its application is in determining the maximum profit from sales. The sample test. Store A sells cassava chips while for flavor variants. Sweet spicy, balado spicy, cheese, and original. To make these chips, they require raw materials such as cassava, cooking oil, balado seasoning, and cheese seasoning. In the production process, we need raw materials as much as is following. The daily stock of raw materials for production is 56,550 grams of cassava, 7,485 liter cooking oil, 1,250 grams of baladi seasoning, and 2,550 grams of cheese seasoning. 
The selling price per unit of its types of cheese products are 17,000 for the spicy, 15,000 for the spicy, 15,000 for cheese, and 12,000 for original. The question is, how much of it is in order to get the maximum profit? Table of solution. First table is table of ingredient supplement. Second table is table of ingredient inventory. Next table of purchase price ingredients and etc. Decision variable X1 sweet spicy cassava chips, X2 balo the spicy cassava chips, X3 cheese cassava chips, X4 original cassava chips. Password variable Y1 cassava, Y2 cooking oil, Y3 balo the seasoning, and Y4 sea seasoning. And this is table of large scale linear program model. The mathematical model constant function for sales cash is as follows. And the objective function of the cash is to maximize. Problem solving steps 1. Transforming the general form of the objective function and construct function into a standard form. Two, Converting a system of linear equation into augmented matrix. 3. Solve by Gauss Jordan elimination like this. Therefore, X1 is 35, X2 is 15, X3 is 32, X4 is 5. And that, the maximum profit is 923,100. This is the end of this video. I hope this video has provided knowledge for all of us. I bid farewell and apologies for any mistake. Thank you and goodbye guys. Yo,